More coming up after this break. Don't go away. Peace comes to the Holy Land by way of San Diego. A foundation led by Qualcomm heirs Gary and Jerry Ann Jacobs brought together 10 San Diego Jewish high school students with Jewish and Arab students for tours of Israel. And two of the lucky participants are here. Welcome Mara Jacobs and Anna Barfor, right? Barfaro. Barfaro. <laughs> Hi, how are you girls? Good. Good Welcome to you. Midday. I know you guys are excited, right? Yes. Yay, so am I. All right, so you guys are the lucky participants for this trip. Tell me a little bit about the program first. Go ahead. All right. Well, it's a two and a half week trip to Israel uh, with 10 Israeli Jews, 20 Arabs, and 10 American Jews. And we are thrown together um, with this two week intensive trip to Israel, getting to know each other, breaking down the barriers, and breaking down the stereotypes. Now, was this a surprise for you guys, or did you know going into this program you were going to have a chance to go to Israel? Um, we knew we were going to go to Israel. Um, that's where the whole program starts, and we're there, and we're just thrown together with these people, and we immediately have to start getting to know each other right on the dot. So what are some of the things that you're going to do in Israel? Uh, well, the, uh, we typically just travel from the north down to the south. Um, because the idea is that um, all these kids are from the south of Israel and so we uh, wanted to go away from where they lived and so we traveled up to where Syria and Lebanon are down all the way to Jerusalem into the Negev where they live and we went to the Temple Mount we went out to the holy sites in Jerusalem um, and looked at all the other different conflicts aside from the Palestinian Israeli conflict so what would you say is the most exciting part of the trip everything there's not one specific moment where you're just like wow I mean there some people have moments hit them more than others but the whole trip is just like incredible and being there getting to know each other and every moment that you spend with the people is really what you make of it in the end and Mora for you as well yeah uh, I think one of the most significant moments for a lot of people is when we're in Jerusalem and we visit the yeah. three holy sites for um, sure. it's very different because you're going to the Temple Mount with Arabs and Jews and that's very very different experience. Um, also going to the wall, the Western Wall with an Arab is very emotional with the comments people say and the way that the Arabs handle it is very... The way people look at you for yeah. sure. It's, um, it's ridiculous, like it's as if they've never seen anything like this before. Yeah, is that the feedback that you got from people that had been there already? Like, you know, the feeling of being in that, um, in those holy sites? Um, from the previous group, they really try and not tell us what we're going to do. It's really like a mystery, everything that we're going to be going through. They try to, they prepare us six months before this trip and, you know, teach us things, but they didn't want to give away the whole experience because it's for us to find out and for us to experience on our own without having any previous knowledge of it. Now, one of our very own, James Wu, was, um, yeah. you know, he <laughs> took this trip as well. Did he tell you guys a little bit about it? Yeah. James was with us the entire time. We love James. Yeah. <laughs> my sisters, all my siblings have been on this trip before, um, and so he's been on the trip with, uh, I think, two of them, two of my sisters as well as me. Um, and so it's been a very different experience for him, as well as my siblings saying how it, he plays a different role in every time we go on the trip. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hmm. <laughs> so what are some of the differences, though, that he mentioned? Well, he used to be the videographer, photographer, okay. so he was just there to document the, uh, the, the trip and to get it into a video. And then this year he was the educator, so he was in charge of the information we know. He was there to support our young counselor, which is... Um, Heather myself, Gillies. Or Heather, Heather Gillies is la our counselor, mm -hmm. and then he myself and my friend Gabe are going to be the counselors for this year, um, and to support us and to make sure the trip goes smoothly for everybody. Wow, James, ooh, okay, <laughs> that sounds good. Now, are you guys planning on doing this trip again? Um, it's a one-time thing. Really? Okay. Um, after you do the trip, um, two people, or one person is chosen to be a counselor, but this year Mara Jacobs was chosen to be a counselor Yay. along with our friend Gabe Semach. <laughs> and they're going to be leading the group for next year and guiding them along the way, preparing them just the way um, Heather prepared us for the six months before the trip. Now, are you excited about that role or are you a little nervous? I'm very, very excited about Good. that role. Good. <laughs> <laughs> just take it in and, you know, let them know everything that you know and your experiences as well. Mm -hmm. Well, good job. Well, well, thank you girls so much for sharing that with us because it's definitely a place that I've always wanted to go to and I know a lot of people talk about it and how emotional it is um, definitely in the holy sites yeah. so thank you girls for joining us here yeah. on midday thank you all right and um, for more information you can go to jitli.org for more information